Hello? Hey, Sam. How's it going? This is Danny. Danny? I'm yeah. doing good. How are you doing? Are you, I'm doing very well, buddy. You were talking to one of my affiliate, Nick Jones. Uh-huh. I think. Well, we're talking back right. and forth. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, buddy, um, let me give you a quick introduction. My company name is 24-7 Freight Management. We're a dispatch company. Uh, we're running trucks for different carriers. I, I run all type of freight, car haulers, reefers, dry vans, power onlys, um, Amazon, containers, everything. Um, so the reason we were uh, reaching out to you so we can we can show you our credibility and uh, our work and then potentially get you on board as a carrier. So, um, I, so you're trying to go to California, Nick told me. Um, do you live in California? That's why. Yeah, yeah, Central California. Okay, got it. So yeah, I can find something uh, towards California. So you're gonna be in Albuquerque, New Mexico, on Friday. Fr- Friday, yeah. You already took a load. Yeah, I've got a load. I'm in in, in Deming, New Mexico. You know, by the border. But uh, oh. I'm picking up a load uh, Thursday mid morning. Uh-huh. Delivering Friday morning. Mm-hmm. In Albuquerque? Albuquerque, yeah. Okay, let's see. And you have a reefer, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's loads out of Albuquerque, man. <laughs> I mean, it was hot, but not anymore. We have pivoted uh, our carriers. I'm running 40 reefers, by the way, for different carriers. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, um, right now, the the volume is towards the other side, towards east, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, right now, I don't see anything. What, what, uh, what are you going to drop? Give me the zip code for the New Mexico bottle one. Where I'm delivering Friday? Thursday. Oh, where I'm picking up? Mm-hmm. Uh, nine three two seven one. I'm mean, uh, eight eight zero three zero. Nine three eight zero three zero. Eighty eight zero three zero. Uh huh. No. Um. What's the name of the city? Uh, it's Demin, New Mexico. How do you spell it? Uh, D E M I N G. That's where I'm picking up right now. I mean, like, uh, Thursday. Yeah, I'm going to see if we can get something Thursday. And when are you going to no, no, be no, I, the... no, no, I'll be empty in Albuquerque Friday. No, but you're not loaded yet, right? Not yet, but I've I've got a load already booked. I know, I know. Yeah. What I'm trying to see here is that if there's anything going straight to... California from there then we can pick it oh. up and we can excuse the broker mm-hmm. and but I don't see anything here anyway no, yeah, yeah. there's nothing anyway so uh, do you have a dispatch services who's doing the dispatch right now you know I got some more dispatchers but I don't know that's all but I dispatch myself sometimes right okay Yeah, because he is dead. So where are you running your truck these days? I mean, I see the volume going down from here. Um, uh, right towards now, the I'm, west. I'm in no, no, I know, but like, uh, where do you run your reefer? What areas? Oh, no, no, anywhere. But I try to avoid uh, Washington and Oregon. Hmm. So my question is that how much you're making? Oh, how much? Oh, well, it depends, man. From six to seven, something like that. How many days out? I go out about two weeks, uh, ten, twelve days. So that's that's not a good number. Well, that's all we can do for now. No, I'm talking about. Oh the no, 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 market. no. No, what I say, I I make about six to seven uh, a week, like six days, five days. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. My reefers, 
I'm running them. I'm running them in Midwest. So Midwest. where do you live in mm -hmm. California? Central California. What, is, what city? Central? Yeah, to Larry. Let's see. Central. You see, um, I am running reefers, mm -hmm. and um, let's say if, if you have, if you let me dispatch. What I would be doing is that we'll, I will pick up a job. I will straight go to Midwest or East for mm -hmm. like 7500 And as long as you want to stay in Midwest, I'll make you 8000 a week on 3000 to 3200 miles. Mm, that's and I'm what, doing two, it already. That's what, 240 per mile or so? Yeah, around that. Yeah. That's what I'm making, man. But the gross is less. I'm telling you, yeah, you can get 8,000 every less week. Miles. Yeah, but less miles. <laughs> How many miles do you do? 23, 24. <laughs> That's, uh, That's the difference. Yeah. But you know, in California fuel prices are different, and mountains are different. It's it's more it's about the fuel price as well. For example, I can get four dollar loads in California, uh, but but again, the fuel price is so high they have to pay four dollar. No, the fuel surge I don't high. do I don't do local loads. I'm just saying, you know, you have to get a refill mm -hmm. out of mountain in these areas. Um, the way I run the trucks is that my trucks are running Illinois, Tennessee, and then Georgia, North Carolina area and up and back, so that avoids tools and that help, help us to get a lower rate on the diesel for the refills. Mm -hmm. So a lot of factor matters, mm -hmm. and they, there's no mountains there. That means, right. you know, with the fuel, fuel everything will come out better. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, either way, so um, I'd say that's $2.60. 8,000 mile. 8,000 on, on 3,031 to 3,300 miles. Because with miles, the gross goes up and less than miles, the gross goes down. So 2.6, mm -hmm. I'm talking, including deadhead. Mm -hmm. okay. And if you're... The numbers are pretty same, um, but again, uh, how much you're taking home, that's what matters, right? So that's what matters, you, yeah. We got, right. Yeah, we got to <laughs> pick a place where there's more volume, uh, so we can choose from the not negative and negative temperatures, um, and then we can choose on the weight, not do heavy mm -hmm. loads. So you can only do that where the volume is. And West, I mean, I was running all of my reefers in West before, like a month ago. Mm -hmm. But now, you, as you see, the volume is going down. The, the lanes that they are paying 7000 I used to get 9000 for these. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Back then, yeah. Like just 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 let's say two three months back, I used to get nine thousand for these specific lanes, and I was just running them mm -hmm. back and forth. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, a good dispatcher is someone who can run the truck anywhere the carrier wants. So mm -hmm. if you're gonna ask me uh, where is the best place to run, I can suggest you. But at the end of the day, if you say no, I I just want to stay here, then I'm still be able to run you. Mhm. Mm okay. So right now, mm -hmm. I'm going to just keep this in mind that I have to keep looking from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Friday. Uh -huh. And if you get a low, just let me know that I got it. Otherwise, I'm going to be looking. If I find something, yeah. I'll let you know. And uh, after that, once you're going to be en route to California, then mm -hmm. we can sit and discuss about future business and maybe potentially getting you on board. Okay, and uh, how much you guys charge? We charge five percent. Five percent? Oh, all right. Yes, that's what I pay you know, to other dispatchers. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've kept a standard. So, I mean, uh, what we win over the customers from our customer service uh, and support, we are twenty-four-seven. 
So anytime you're calling, you will get a hold of somebody. That's mm-hmm. what makes us different. And um, also, we know the market very well, so we actually suggest the client what should we do. Uh, mm-hmm. It's too early right now for a Friday job, right? Maybe that's that's the thing. So I would keep on looking, and as soon as I have something, I'll give you a call. And mm-hmm. I'd say that rather than state California, we can maybe tr- go try to go to like Phoenix first, and then from there, or um, it's Nevada. If I can get something towards in Nevada or in that direction, like Colorado or something. Oh, uh, from Albuquerque. Yeah, from Albuquerque, we have to go somewhere, right? I don't see anything well, going toward west. So maybe we can do like Arizona first, and then like do a try haul. Well, the, it depends, you know. If it's pretty decent load, I might take it, you know. But if it's a crappy load, man, I'd rather wait for the right one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That uh, mm-hmm. if it's good, then yes. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Right, right. I'll keep an eye out, mm. and as soon as I have something else, um, I'll send you an option, and I'll call you to discuss it. And once you're in California, mm. then we can discuss about your next trip, and I can plan yeah. you accordingly so you don't have to do deadheads and you don't have to stuck in these areas like New Mexico and stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, are you going to send me the package, set up package for you guys? Yes. Yes, I'm going to send you an email so you can apply me with your documents. Once you send me the documents, mm-hmm. I'm going to send you the packet for 5%. Mm-hmm. Another right? thing, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, who's going to who's gonna be the dispatcher? Uh, right now it's me, Danny, I'm the manager. Oh, okay. um, because uh, I need the New Mexico, getting you out of Albuquerque, New Mexico is going to be a tricky job. Mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah. and yeah. it needs time. So I'm gonna be doing mm-hmm. that once we have something and once we figure out how you're going to California. When we start from mm-hmm. California, then I'm gonna assign you a dispatcher. Uh, okay. Don't worry, it's gonna be a good dispatcher. I would put, I would want. I mean, again, he's gonna sit with you and uh, he's 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 good. All my dispatchers know how to drive the trucks in west and how to drive the trucks um, in east, where the my, you know volume is and where the fuel is high and what to do. So either you can take our suggestions if you like it, as I, as I gave you and just said no, I'm I I would rather close stay close to home and I'm making the same money. So I said okay, that's fine. But if you um uh, if you want to do what he says or you know just let him do his job, then either way the numbers will be good. Hmm? Whatever you're we'll comfortable. We'll with. find out. Yeah, we're sure. to find out. Huh? <laughs> and yep. what is your name? The only name? my name is Danny. I'm telling you up front, yeah. the only problem, yeah, the only problem we're going to have is this with Albuquerque, New Mexico. We, w- you can say just we met at a wrong spot, right? Mm-hmm. Wrong timing or wrong location, but I'm still trying to work something out to get you out of here. But once you start from California, you can start counting the numbers. Sure. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. Albuquerque is dead. It's, it's a bit tricky, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but no, you know I'll keep an eye out. Get... We have to go home. No, but you know, I go to Albuquerque because uh, we sometimes we get uh, potatoes out of uh, Colorado going to L.A. I mean, yes. Um, so uh-huh. what I call Albuquerque is, uh, I call Albuquerque like a surprising place. You don't know what's going to mm-hmm. happen. I mean, something, right. I, I've, I've picked up loads which which I never imagined I would get from Albuquerque. Yeah. And it was yeah, really paying yeah. really good, right? So you just keep an eye out. Right. And that's what, that's what I'm right. going to do. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. Sure. Send for Danny. Send right, man, send me, yeah, uh, I am sending you, got, you right now. You got the, my email? I have your email. I have the safer email. Let me check. Oh. I don't I, I don't think maybe you don't remember, but I spoke to you before as well with you and your wife and we discussed the same thing. When? And I have uh, it was like um uh, two weeks ago or something. And uh, I have your paperwork. I have your um, MC and W9 and everything. Oh, oh, you got the info, right? You you talked to me about it three weeks ago or so? Yes, we did talk, me, you, and uh, I, I guess it was Anna, your wife. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we discussed that, and uh, you wanted some time. So I gave you some time, and I, I called you back today. Yeah, yeah. Back today. Oh, so you got all my info, right? Yeah, I have uh, P-I-C-E-N-A... Samuel at gmail.com. 
Yeah, yeah, but do you got my documents or no? I have, let me check what I, I mean, you send me some, but let me check documents. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I have your MC, I have your W9, I have your insurance. Yeah, is, is that all you need for now? And uh, you have trust off for factoring? The what? I'm sorry, because there's a beep on your on your line and every 10 seconds, like beep. And, and I can, what was the question? So I'm saying that you have truckstop.com for factoring? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you spoke to Nick and you sent him your packet. I have your packet, so let me send you my packet on 5% and sign in and get it done. And I'll I'll be keeping an eye out uh, from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to save. Is this is this your personal number? No, um, I'm going to text you Danny from the dispatch number. Okay. I'm going to say right. this is the company's number, right? This is the sales number. You can save it as well as a backup if you have any questions regarding agreement or anything. Um, otherwise, okay. I'm going to text you from the dispatch number saying Danny from 24-7. Okay. So you can All save right. the dispatch number. 10 4. Sounds like All a right, plan. Thank you. I'll speak to you soon. Sure. Thank you, Danny. Appreciate it. Bye. You have a good day. Bye-bye.